Alrighty, fellas. Got this today. It's the new turbo. It's a 6466, but it is not a precision. I have a precision, but I didn't go to precision on this one because, well, it's three times the cost. So this is a Pulsar. And if you've never heard of Pulsar, go ahead and Google P-U-L-S-A-R. And the nice or interesting thing about Pulsar is you will not find a single negative review on them. So I figured I'd roll the dice. I know people that run these. One lower X does. As for gears, this has no complaints. I have run Western brand turbos before, had no complaints. I mean, obviously, this isn't a traditional eBay turbo. This is actually a reputable brand with good QC, and like I said, no negative reviews. They are made in China. This turbo was in Shanghai yesterday. I didn't pay for shipping. I did pay retail for the turbo. That came with free shipping. And it came from China in basically a day. But because of, you know, time zone stuff, it was two days. Now, it's a cut shut. So I guess that's going to cut. So it's basically just an open box or box opening video like you've seen a hundred times before. There's not really a lot on this turbo. Full sort turbos are not that common I'm seeing. I don't know why. Maybe it's just this side of the world. We're so fascinated with name brands. There. That's that. It's packed. It's packed almost identical as my Borg Warner Turbo. With the freight in the bag with the foam capped. Alright. Got some instructions. Nice quality ones in English. I'll deal with that later. So the turbo, a little pouch of stuff that came with it. It's like a T3 gasket. I chose the T3. You pick hot sides like you do any turbo. This is a T3 .82 AR V-band outlet. It came with the matching flange, with which uh, is nice because my precision didn't. I had to go find what size it is, research, and then go buy it. It was actually a two and a half inch V band. Came with a V band. Well, it was probably shit quality. It came with one. Uh, and it came with a regular, regular, uh, looks like a 10 AN style. Outlet with a gasket and a crappy ish paper gasket and a couple bolts to hold it in. Didn't come with anything for the inlet. So, from what I understand, I gotta look through the instructions. Is the because this is a ball bearing turbo, and you'll notice it's a ball bearing turbo with no coolant ports, so that's why I went with this one uh, because of how high my turbo sits. I didn't want the turbo to be the highest point in the cooling system, boil off, create steam, and, and give me air pockets. So that's why I went with this over like a, a VSR or something, Garrett style turbo. It has these heat sink center section that's supposed to keep you from needing coolant, but who knows? Just, just got to be careful with your shutdowns. Don't. 
This isn't a turbo that you run a nine second pass on and then shut it off at the end of the track. You let this one cool down. I don't know. Everything looks fine so far. Because this is a seven blade inlet. It's a billet inlet. Got the anti-surge housing, similar to like a uh, the Precision Next Gen. I'm hoping this is a boost reference port, and not for speed. Two and a half inch clamp on style. I'm going to be changing it actually to a uh, HD clamp. It's going to be welding on. Actually, I'm welding on an elbow, and then I'm going to be welding on a. It's not a V-band, it's a, uh, it's an intercooler HD, like a Wiggins. And then, I got the, obviously there's no shaft plate in it. And you got a, what, a, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten blade, 66 millimeter exducer. And obviously the 64 millimeter inducer and the exducer on that I don't remember same one on the other side it's like in the 80s I think but there you have it so I'm going to be switching to this hopefully this three bench V band is the same as the one that's on the truck already so I can just take it off clamp it otherwise I just gotta cut the one off there and weld on this one so for comparison services this is my old 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 s252 52 millimeter turbo it's got a 57 version of this on there now s200 board warner Basically, it's, it's considerably larger. <laughs> the reason I am upgrading is because I am essentially, I think I got a bonus one, at the limits of the 57. I'm running 32 pounds of boost, and it's making just shy of 600 wheel horse. This one. I'm not looking for a whole lot more horsepower because the block obviously has got its limitations and the head studs and stuff like that. But I want to do it more efficiently. That's the reason for the equal length header. That's the reason for the new up pipe and, the, and then it's going to be, I'm changing the charge pipe side to two and three quarter inch as well. So it's going to be a good bit of upgrading here. I plan on running the same boost, if not a little bit less, maybe capping it off at 30 PSI. So, it's just a better look at it. It's a nice, it's a pretty boy. And then it'll go where that one is. So if you need an S257, I got one for sale. Same with the IG unequal length header. But I'm going to this header. Equal, I gotta change the up pipe. It's gonna be, I gotta tweak it obviously. I got the Turbo Smart wastegate I'm ready to comp gate 40. So, pretty soon I'm gonna start mocking this up. I might even start now. First, I wanna turn the truck around so that the exhaust side is closer to my TIG welder. So, I'll get that done and then I'm gonna start fitting turbos. I'm going to start fitting bigger turbo. Bigger turbo. See you guys.